iOS 12 continues to get closer to release this fall for iPhones and iPads with the release of Developer Beta 3. Welcome everyone, this is Andrew for Apple Insider and we've gone ahead and downloaded the latest developer beta to find out what exactly is new. You can learn a lot about your battery's usage in iOS 12 and there's been a small tweak compared to the first two betas. Now whenever your battery is in low power mode it'll show up as yellow. Before when you had really low battery it would show up as red, otherwise it would show up as green. Now if ever you manually toggle on low power mode it'll show up as yellow in these handy little charts. Location sharing has also been moved around a little bit. It used to be alone in privacy, but now it's really handily available inside of your profile right near the iCloud settings. We also saw a really small text change when looking at Face ID. You always had the option to reset Face ID or reset Touch ID for that matter, but now the reset Face ID text is now showing up in red. So it still does the same thing, just the text is red instead of before where it was just black. FaceTime got a whole lot of new changes in iOS 12. There's now group FaceTime for the first time, up to 32 participants, and there's a bunch of different effects and Animoji, Memoji, they can all be applied during actual FaceTime or FaceTime group call. And there have been some small tweaks in the actual effect picker for the third beta. We heard that Apple was really going to be revamping maps, so make sure you check out that whole article on Apple Insider, but we're starting to see the first effects of that here in the third beta of iOS 12, namely really only in the Bay Area and San Francisco, but there is a whole lot more data as they're trying to use their own mapping services instead of third parties. Over time, Apple will be expanding this to not just San Francisco, but all up along California, then everywhere else. It's going to take a lot of time as they switch to their own mapping data, but you can see there is a big difference. We have the new one here on my iPhone and the old images there on my iPad. There's still a whole lot of data and it can be a little bit hard to tell, so you kind of need to explore for yourself. But again, old and then new. So we're going to compare them side to side with the new one on the left and the old one on the right. There's definitely a lot more detail going on in the San Francisco area. There are a few changes in the watch app. In the last beta, we saw that time travel was kind of removed from the watch app, but it still showed up in the search results. Now that's been wiped away too, so no longer is it in general and no longer does it show up in the search results. The Siri watch face got a lot of overhauls in iOS 12 and watchOS 5, and now when looking at the gallery, that's the only watch face that is featured. Also, when you dive into it, it'll actually now show you different third-party applications that work with the watch face and that you can toggle them off. Obviously, we're still in beta, so we're not actually seeing any of these apps show up in the watch face, but if they were actually working and updated when this is actually released, you can toggle them off so you don't see their information show in the Siri watch face. The Activities app for Messages also got a big overhaul. Now when we tap on the Messages one, you can see we actually have animated little stickers and gifs to go along with it. We have three here along the top that you can drag into conversations or place by themselves, and scroll down to the bottom, we have several more. Obviously we have that countdown, the activity ones, all the different goals that you're trying to get to, and even some ones here that are a little bit odd that's hard to see, tilt my phone. You can see different people walking, running, and being inclusive, we have a wheelchair as well. You can see how those look against a white background, look a little bit easier to see. I can definitely see myself using these, especially as everyone's going to be competing a lot more with the new challenges feature in watchOS 5. Notifications, a few tweaks here. Now you can actually tap on that and there's a new animation to the clear all notifications. So I just 3D touch in, and it kind of has this cool pop out effect. Also, when you tap into a group of notifications, that show less button has been moved. It was to the right of the icon and now it is to the left. It shows up on the bottom as well. So if I scroll through all of my parking lot notifications, down here at the bottom we still have, and went too far, I still have the actual option to show less there. But again, it's on the left hand side of the circle with the X in it. The new animation that we saw for 3D touching on that overall X though, that has been ported over to the iPad as well with kind of a new gesture. So I can actually use, uh, it's not 3D touch on the iPad, but a long hold on that button. And you can see it still gives you that same pop out effect. So there's that new 3D touch emblematic gesture to push on that and hold for a second, kind of like in Control Center. And it gives me the option to clear all notifications that way. When we look at Control Center over on my iPhone once more, if you pull that down, you'll notice how the carrier and that cell signal are now leftly aligned with the actual content inside a Control Center, instead of before where they're a little bit more aligned to the left. For us, CarPlay kept crashing whenever we'd switch to a backup camera or other cameras on our car, and that seems to be fixed so far in our testing in Beta 3, so no longer will CarPlay crash when you switch to your rear camera. 
inside of the photos app we saw a few different changes to the media types these different galleries well now they've been cleaned up a little bit more now you're not going to see these media type albums unless you actually have those media types so if you don't have any long exposure shots that's not going to show up in your media types ios 12 has a new default wallpaper and in the latest beta it seems to be slightly desaturated to where it was in the past you can barely tell here on video and even in person it's hard to tell until you compare them side by side but just a slight desaturation to where it was before on the ipad we have voice memos for the first time and in beta 3 it actually got a whole new redesign from the original design that launched in the original first two betas here's what it looked like in the first two betas now we jump back over this is what it looks like now definitely a little bit cleaner not so stark white and funny enough, it actually now more matches what we see on macOS Mojave. So that is our list of everything new in iOS 12 Beta 3. Let us know what you think and if you find any other changes at all down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.